What is up guys, Ultimals back with another Snake Draft game. This is for finals, are you, between Amfuga and Ajna. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, I'm sorry. I, I'm not exactly sure how you how to pronounce that, but um, we're just going to roll with Ajna for now. Uh, yeah, are you definitely not one of my favorite tiers, just because like of how fat of a tier it is. Like look at these like look at these teams. You got the nice Gligar P2 Jelly against the Milotic P2 Bronzong. Um, Amfuga also has Zorark, which is the most busted mon in this tier. Is, uh, I hate I hate playing against against that mon, um, but I think it I, it just was suspected. I think the suspect ended yesterday, so I don't know if they've I don't know how long it lasts till they decide if it's banned or not, or if they have I don't know. Uh, all right, so Amfuga um, probably doesn't have rocks on this Gligar because it's probably defog, and the rocks are probably on Bronzong. Uh, for Ajna, it's probably rocks. All right, so he knockoffs the Gligar and uh, defog, assuming Ajna would rock. I don't really get why he did that, um, but now he U-turns so. Ajna gets to keep his rocks up, at least for the time being. And I don't know why Amfuga went to Bronzong. Uh, he shouldn't let this get knocked, unless this is not the Bronzong. And yeah, it's the not the Bronzong. <laughs> and oh, Ajna makes the GOAT play. That was, yeah, going for the Earthquake. But like, he probably knew like deep down, like there's no way Amfuga would just let me knock off his Bronzong for, for no reason whatsoever. Um... So now Fuga gets up rocks here uh, as Ajna goes into the Durant. Now Durant threatens this out with Crunch. Uh, normally Durants run like two sort of sets. Like it's either Z move, uh, so, you know, so like usually with like Hone Claws or something like that, or the other set is Scarf. Uh, Scarf Durant is my most hated set like of all time. <laughs> it's good because it has good coverage. It hits hard as hell with Hustle, but it is so unreliable. Like there's so many times you just need it to hit and it it doesn't hit because Hustle's the most frustrating ability of all time. Uh, you saw how much that crunch just did to this Gligar now that it lost to Violet. So I don't even think Amfuga could risk switching into anything else because he doesn't know for sure if this Duran is even scarfed yet or not. But I think like it, he should just sack this at this point because it's coming back in at like what at 20%. So I, I don't think it's worth keeping. Uh, then you could probably go Croak afterwards. But at the same time, you still have to be scared of potential Z moves because Duran's strong as hell. Like. This mon is incredibly strong. It's a great breaker, great revenge killer. But like I said, the only thing that holds it back is the ability is frustrating. Like the ability is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it's just so frustrating. Like it's it's trying to hit focus blast almost every single time you click and move. It sucks in that regard. But yeah, he does land another crunch, and the Gligar dies. So now we see the Toxic Croak come out, and Ezna kind of struggles with this. I would assume like you could go Jellicent because like the Croak most commonly will be like um, Swords Dance. Sucker Punch, uh, and then like a stab, like either double stab or stab ice punch, something like that. And if it is like that sort of set, I think you could go Jelly and like threaten this with Will O Wisp. Um, I mean, if he's like Gunk, it's still going to do a good chunk, especially depending on like the spread of the Jellicent. But yeah, I've, if I'm Ajna, I'm probably keeping the, like, the way this has been played so far. I, I think this is probably Scarf Durant. If it's Scarf Durant, that would mean it's like Specs um, Gardevoir, probably. But yeah, now, um, yeah, like I said, I think Ajna could, he could probably go into Jelly. If he's afraid of going hard Jelly, he could also make a play, maybe second Gligar, now that the rocks are up to stay. I don't think he necessarily needs that Mon. And, uh, but Croak looks like a big threat, that's for sure. And, but yeah, like I was saying, like, if you go Jellicent, right, like, you dodge Sucker Punch and you could just Wisp him, which would be, like, the bright side of that. Um, but yeah, I think if, if Ajna wants to play safe, he could probably sack the Gligar here. And you see, he's thinking about this play hard. Um, keeping the Jellicent alive would be nice for, um, I guess, like Glalie. But Glalie could also run Freeze Dry. I don't know what set they're commonly running in RU at the moment. But normally you'll see like uh, like Spikes, Freeze Dry, Return, or Double Edge, and like Explosion, something like that. Could also have Ice Shard somewhere on there. Could also have Earthquake somewhere on there. Uh, the last couple slots are usually pretty flexible, so yeah, he might want to keep the jelly though for the, for the the Glalie. I don't know. So we see, okay, the Gligar does get sacked here. Uh, okay, so it's SD SD Croak. He's just gonna ice punch here or drain punch. Like drain punch will still kill even with the Aviolite. Um, yeah, plus two it would kill. So yeah, he does have ice punch. That should just that kills the Gligar. And now Ajna goes out to Durant. So um, this scares should scare out the Croak if he wants to keep this. I would probably go Bronzong here. I don't think he would risk crunching the, the Toxic Croak, so he's probably just going for Iron Head, uh, would be my guess. I think that's like his safest play. So if Amfuga um, could either get damage off on this with Sucker Punch, or he could save this for later. And 
Oh, I think this could be useful for saving, especially because it deals well with the um, with the Porygon too, and assuming that it has Drain Punch, and it also deals, or it could also Sucker Punch the Guard and do like a bunch of damage to that. If it ever gets weakened a little bit, or if it ever has to switch into rocks a couple times, we'll be able to kill it with Sucker, uh, especially a plus two. Uh, yeah, and then yeah, I don't. So I don't know. I'm thinking either though, like he doesn't have great switches to Durant, like. If he goes Bronzong, he risks the crunch, and then just the Bronzong will just drop. So that's that's a risky play to make. Uh, but that's like would be his only good switch in here. I don't think. But I honestly, if I'm Edge now, I'm just clicking Iron Head, right? Yeah, he does. Okay, and that's a dead crow because, like I said, Durant's strong as shit. So uh, Durant kills the uh, kills the Croaker, but we get off some nice damage with Sucker Punch. Now uh, I think yeah, I'm fucking knows this is locked in. Maybe is it like is it like banded? That might be banded. I'm not positive though. I don't have the calcs and I don't want to calc, but that did a, that does a lot of damage. I mean, yeah. Try and look. Do they say anything? Um, yeah, I don't know if they're saying anything in some, in the chat. I, I may have missed it. I don't know. But yeah, we'll go. I'm going off the fact that this is probably choice locked Durant at this mo at this point. And uh, the way I'm Fuga's played it, he's probably calc it. Like maybe it is banded. I don't know. But I, I guess Durant's strong regardless. So and. I think um, Fuga here just goes for like a Psy Wave or something like that, uh, which is normally what Bronzong's run in RU. And yeah, and Azuna could probably go, I don't know, like into Porygon or something like that. And But like, it, it can't really touch Bronzong back. I guess if it's like Foul Play, it could just chip it down. And Bronzong doesn't have good recovery, of course. But yeah, I think Azuna's in a pretty good spot right now, just because like this Durant is so threatening that, yeah, as you can say, he definitely wants to keep it. So he goes down Fuga. We do see the Psy Wave. It's like a, Sideways is one of the weirdest moves in the game. Just take like a random HP, and that's how much damage it does, but whatever. Uh, it is Bandit, alright? So we do see it in there. Bandit Durant. I was going to say, like, that was doing so much damage to the Gligar, and then just one shot that, um, one shotting the Croak. So, yeah. It is Bandit. Uh, and, like, that's why Amfuga went Croak after the Gligar died, because he knew by the damage that it was Bandit. So that makes sense. And I'll. A Bronzong got put to sleep by this Roserade, and Roserade could just stay in here and just spam HP Fire and try and chip this thing down. Uh, yeah, I think if this thing gets chipped down, then Gardevoir is probably going to win, because Guard's probably Scarfed. Uh, if, like, also, I guess Milota could probably eat the Guard hits as well, but uh, Milota can't hit, like, X-Scissor. X-Scissor from Banded uh, Durant would probably just, like, kill it. <laughs> X-Scissor gets a kill, I think, every time that the Durant finds its way in now. Uh, but yeah, if I'm Ajna, I could probably just stay in here and just spam uh, HP Fire. He doesn't have switch-ins at all to that. And Bronzong, I guess, stays in and tries to wake up and click Psy Wave. But like, like I said, like if, if you lose this, Gardevoir becomes a huge problem. And yeah, it's probably Scarf Guard. It's probably Z-Move. This is probably Z-Move, actually, this Roserade. And Roserades could run a few different... Like, normally you'll see, like, Grass Z with Leaf Storm because you get one strong nuke without having to, like, lose your special attack. Stuff like that. It's really cool uh, set. I like that a lot. So now he goes into the Milotic. But now I guess Rosary is just clicking grass move. Um, yeah, it's probably yeah, and it is the Z grass, right? Yep. Okay, uh, that's my favorite Rosary set. You run like three attack spikes or or synth or something. It's a, it's a really good set. And now Glalie comes out and Ajna does like he could go um, Jellicent here if he's predicting like double edge. But like if if the if I'm Fuga has freeze dry, like I said, that's a, kind of a risky switch in. Uh, he, he could keep the, he doesn't really need to keep the Roserade for anything at this point though. So like, you could probably just sack this and be perfectly fine with it. You can sack this and then go into the, uh, Gardevoir. And now since the Bronzong got weakened and Amfuga sacked his Milotic, now I, I'm pretty sure that Guard will clean up here in the late game. For, like, pretty much guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, Ajna is probably just clicking Leaf Storm here. Uh, if, I don't, but Amfuga just click, clicks Ice Move. Uh, just like return double edge, whatever he has. Uh, as just thinking, but like I said, I don't think he needs. Yeah, he doesn't need this mon. So yeah, double edge, uh, take some some damage on that Glalie. A little recoil, and we'll probably see the Gardevoir come out now. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to go Durant just because like you're probably gonna miss anyway. <laughs> but Durant is an option. Like Durant and click any move will get a kill if it if he connects. I think guard guard should, even scarf guard should kill from here. I mean Glalie's got decent defenses though, so maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, I think uh, either Guard or Durant is fine in this in this scenario. And he's still thinking a little bit about his play, but I think he has this game pretty much wrapped up, to be honest. So, um, is he Sken saying how's Glalie allowed? Dude, Glalie's not even good. <laughs> Glalie, I hate this mon so much. Um, 
Yeah, in, in any tier. It, it could be Little Cup, I still wouldn't use this mod. I think it's complete horseshit. Uh, really bad, really, really bad mod. Right, so he does go Durant, he's just praying, he's like, oh, please, let me hit this Iron Head right now. Uh, or X, I, like I said, X Scissor kills everything, so he's probably just clicking X Scissor. Um, Christo, Christo says, no way he hits. Yeah, there's no way. You already hit, like, three moves with this thing, dude. That That is outlasting your luck for damn sure. You see, this thing just, this is going to fall off quickly to the right. But uh, um, Fuka doesn't have a play. Like, he has no switch in at all. Like, everything gets absolutely blown apart. I, I guess you just stay in and hope for dodge. Is like, a better play than switching out to something else. Because, like, yeah. I, hey, what's your other play, anyway? And you just stay in, you hope you dodge, and you kill him. That's not going to kill. Why would you click? Okay. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because you could ice shard again. Yeah, but... Like, if you're going off dodge, anyway, I, at that point, what did it matter? You could have just clicked any other move that you had. Um, it, who goes to Durant on a free switch? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why I don't get why I just didn't go Gardevoir originally. That didn't, didn't make any sense to me. Unless Guard doesn't kill. Like, could Scarf Guard not, not kill this? I, I'd be kind of surprised by that, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know the, I don't know RU Calcs that well, so... Maybe it kills, I'm not sure. Or maybe it doesn't kill, I mean. But either here, if if the... Okay, so Guard doesn't kill from this range. I think we've established that. But what, what Ajna could do is throw off a Wisp or something like that. Or just Scald, and then... Yeah, Scald's fine too. Just put him in range of the Gardevoir is all he needed to do. Whether that be through any sort of attacking move, through Wisp damage, through anything. Uh, so Super Fang Glalie. What in the world? Oh, maybe that's a thing. I, I actually, like... Yeah, I, I don't know... I won't claim to be the like greatest RU player in the world. I haven't played it that much since Sna er, since Grand Slam uh, is over, but uh, yeah, but yeah, Zorark is hopefully gonna be gone. I don't like I said. I think yeah, Suspect just ended like yesterday, so I don't know for sure uh, when they're deciding or when the votes are getting finished. But this mon is completely broken, unfair mon. Uh, I don't know why I'm Fuga's clicking question marks. I, I don't know what he's talking about, but... Yeah, I think Ajna just goes... Oh... Uh, Gardevoir? Because Guard should live... This is... No, I this is probably Scarf Zorark, right? So that outspeeds Scarf Guard, so you probably don't want to go into that. You could you could go into, um, into Porygon and probably just click any move. Okay, he does go guard. Trace the imposter. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Uh, and then... I think... Yeah, so Zorark, though, I think you like it has to just stay in here and just click Dark Pulse. Uh, it, it's Scar... If, it might not be... I'm almost, Yeah, it should be... It's Scarf Zorark, I'm sure. But this probably eats for sure. This probably eats for sure. And then... Uh, oh, it's not Scarf Zorark. Yeah, so what was it? Amfuga um, just didn't have speed control on his team. I guess all he had was, like, Ice Shard, maybe, so, like, he did, he didn't have Sucker either. So, um, yeah, either way, that's going to be a good game. Uh, Ajna's going to pull this one out. Like I said, he had he had a lot of ways that he could win, that he could have won this game. I thought he probably made it a little harder than it needed to be at the end by, like, the series, the sequence of plays that he made. But in the end, it didn't matter. Like, he still had to win anyway. Uh, so, good game. Good game to both players. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really much else to say about this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe to my man Dockerich. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.